Tebow Gumball Machines. Supplies include drawing paper, a circle to trace, I recommend a paper plate, your watercolors, a black crayon, and a pencil. I'm going to begin my drawing in pencil. I start with my base. If you have your paper plate ready, I think you should start with that first on the top half of your paper. My base is just a series of rectangles, kind of like steps. Now I'm drawing the circle for the top half of my gumball machine. You can use your paper plate here. Now I'm going to add some details for my gumball machine. I need a handle to turn to have the gumball come out. I need the opening where the gumball comes out. And I'm going to add the detail with how much my gumball costs. My drawing is a still life, so I'm going to use a straight edge and create the counter that my gumball machine is sitting on. I'm going to start filling my gumball machine. At this point in my drawing, I think I have everything planned out, so I'm going to switch to crayon. I'm using crayon because I'm planning to paint in all the colors with watercolor, and waxy crayons help me keep my paints where I want them to go. I'm going to outline my entire drawing with my black crayon. You could also use another color if you wanted to. My gumball machine definitely needs a few more gumballs. Don't forget to sign your artwork. Now I can begin to add my colors. I like to start with yellow. It's the lightest color and it gets dirty really easily. So if I start with that, I know it'll stay nice and clean and bright. Remember to rinse your paintbrush every time you pick a new color. We want to have every color of the rainbow in our gumball machine.
the colors will run together if two wet spots are touching. I like to move around the paper while I'm painting. It gives the colors a little bit of time to dry. All these colors are really starting to pop. I'm starting to see why Wayne Tebow painted so many different types of desserts. These colors are really fun! Nugget always shows up when the paint water comes out. Now that I've finished my gumball machine, I'm going to work on my background. 
When you're doing a big area and you want your color to be even, it helps if you wet the paper first and then add the color. This way you don't see your brush strokes. This technique is called wet on wet because your paper's wet and your brush is wet. Wet on wet is also good for blending colors. I wet my paper and I start with one color and then I can slowly transition to new colors. Now that's a nice pop art background. Maybe it's an art room. <laughs> 